Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> um, God, it's been two years, hasn't it? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. It's February, we went to the September, October show. We did. And now we're at the new show, 2022. New show. Five holes. Yes. So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's three, eight, four, and five. So shall we go That's and six. have a look around? That's a ticket to great demand. Yeah, it's <laughs> Six holes. So let's go have a guide tour, a quick tour around of what we're going to see at the Motorhome show and even have a look at some caravans for you. Yes, and as we know, it's sold out as well. Sold out. So this might be the only yeah, chance you get to see this. How much could you get for one of these? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Somebody rang up on Friday offering £100 for it. Take it. Yeah. I know they took your £100. ticket and give it in. Well, you nearly never got in, did you? <laughs> I know. Right, let's go and have a look. Right then. So, hall one. We've got tables. We've got the Caravan and Motorhome Club. Yeah, the Caravan and Motor Club. So this is Sorry, the members. The, the, and Motorhome Club. Motorhome Club, that's the one. We have the Oyster Stand um, for the satellites. We've got the Truma. Do we need any parts for any of the vans? Could have brought a screwdriver with us, couldn't we? Um, have such motor, motor movers. <laughs> <laughs> so, Oh, yeah, let's have a pan. Right, we've got... Here's your favourite van here, Cathargo. No, this is a Malibu. OK. What's the difference? A few quid. Right. Educate me, Shane, educate me. So, I mean, let's, uh, let's, let's go on. So we've got... Let's start with the left. So we've got the Malibu to the left, which is the slightly lower-priced version of the Cathargo, is the best way to put it. Right. Or Catargo. Yeah. Depending on how you want to put it. But well, they do some really, really high spec vans. I think they're in the 70s in terms of price. Okay. But they are very, very charming indeed. GT and then you've got the A class. But well, the finish on them is incredible. So you want to go down this way? Yeah. So we've got all A classes along here, haven't we? Oh, yes. Okay. So we've got the Sea Tourers. We've got the Sheik C lines, we've got the Sheik E line, which is a slightly higher version, we've got the tag axle, we've got a lot. Last time I was looking at you and I was driving in that. You remember? Yeah, we were, weren't we? Oh, and then we've got my favourite that, at the back, we've you, got the liner for two. Yes. That's a nice stand. Yeah. Um, Rapido. Very nice stand. Look at the front of the... The camper van over there. The pedo's not changed much, has it? Do you want one of these for free, Kev? Do you want one of these for free? One of these for free? Yeah. Yeah, go on, I'll have those for now. You're a dreamer, aren't you? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yes, so that's there. Again, uh, we're getting, we, we, we're dreamer getting, by Rapido. We're getting the pop tops again as well. Is, yes. This is the These are under Dreamer again, so they're the funds. Right on the Peugeot, and then we've got the Itinios. A and I'd like to have a look at these Itinios because I haven't seen one for a while because they've changed their front end on these a little bit again. The Itinios are a bit quirky, they've got some nice layouts like they've got, I don't know if they've got it here. Not a bad they, price? No, no they're not a bad price. I don't know if it's that one there, it's actually an end bunk bed right. A-class, which are traditionally a seven berth. Right. Yeah. If that's the model that they've got, if they still do that model. Uh, might not. Well, yes, they have had seven verse on these. But they've just, like I said, they've just got some quirky layouts with the bunk beds on the back, which you yeah. don't see in another A class. No, true. So you've got a family that wants bunk beds, that's the one. And again, this, this Itinio, I can't say it. 75, 76k. Yeah. For an A class. For an A class. He's on the lower end now. I mean, you can roll the team Picassos are getting towards that, but not quite that. Yes. I'll tell you, I'll have a, look, I'll have a good look at one and buy one tomorrow. Yeah. First one in about two years. So we're moving on now to uh, Naus and Weinsberg as yes. well. Yes. Hey, so we're going to have some caravans and probably motorhomes on the Weinsberg stand, Naus and Weinsberg stand. It'll be interesting on the Weinsberg stand, or I think it's Weinsberg, they've gone to Mercedes chassis only right. from Fiat. 
I think because they can get them. Starting from quarter two, eh? Yeah. Do you have anything? Yeah, so they have got some of the, the, uh, the nets. So, yeah, you've got the camper, you've got the coach built. Go straight through. Ah. The Weisberg. Right, so this is what I'm talking about here. Yeah. Left hand drive. Yes, because this is a brand, brand, brand new model. They only announced this about three weeks ago, Weinsberg, that they're on the Mercedes cab now. They've ditched the Fiat's, I believe, just because they can get them more readily available. Starting from quarter two, so that'll be one of the first ones that are out there. Yes, yes. Been very popular, a bit more of a rugged look. It's A-class Weinsberg, yeah. Ooh, the caracal. Referee. The new yellow trainers. card. Yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> new trainers. Oh, they've got a scuff on them there. Oh, you've scuffed the trainers. <laughs> Look at the front end on that. I like those square headlights on that. It's nice. It's yeah. Nice. So we're going to move through Fabtex TVs. We've got Caravan Guard. Isabella awnings. Which are obviously nice awnings. Yeah, I think the most popular awning, the Isabella. Um, yeah, they're up there, aren't they? They're the one, top three, definitely. And if you go on to some places, like Love to Stay, which is near you at Shrewsbury, yeah. they've got pictures with these ready-made, so you just drive up to them. Yes, they have, haven't they? I think it's very yeah, smart. Yeah, yeah. And then, if we cut through... Got Dometic on the far left. Then we've got Broad Lane Leisure. Now, if you want somebody to see somebody who does Snapchat, right? Shame, does the skylight to leave <laughs> no, TikTok, not Snapchat, TikTok. Yes. Um, Do a very good job on TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got the Swift. I mean, there's some people that won't know what that is, but... <laughs> nah, some of the older people won't. Yeah. You've got the Fairway. No, it's, it's the dealer stands, I think, mainly here. So yeah, mainly in Hall 1, isn't it, the dealer stuff? Yeah, so we've got Robinsons. Couplins. I can't say I've ever heard of them. What are they? Yeah. <laughs> They've been around since 1975. Seven. 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 So basically, Hall 1, we're starting off with... Look at um, this. Here, look at this. Yeah. This, this is nice. the more rugged one I was talking about about two minutes ago. Yeah. Look at that. Nice big chunky tyres in the matte black. That's on the name, yeah. That is a man. No, that just is a beast. Oh, that'd be a nightmare, wouldn't it? Just don't get a stone chip. Don't go on a rugged path. Yeah. Oh, you're there. Oh, you're there. You're stood there, just like <laughs> turning around in circles. Um, uh, what about these? Wing them. Yes. What do you know about these? I don't know. I'm going to have to wing it. <laughs> right. Seven what, what do you see about this body? Ah, monocoque. All it's in one. Oh, yeah. All in one. It's basically a one piece shell. <laughs> it's a one piece shell. So you're not going to necessarily get any leaks or anything like that. However, yeah, you put them on it. the price. Yeah. For this one. £94,500. And I'm, what's that, about six metres? Yeah. yeah. So a little compact. But well, the, the, cost of, the cost is in the shell. Yeah. yeah, they've got little cute little caravans, haven't they? You know, I never realised they did caravans. But if you just look at the corners here, look. <laughs> there's just no joins all the way around. It's just one solid unit. Even the bumpers are all one yeah. piece. So you have to do a bit more with the outside. Yeah, I mean, uh, just an interesting one, Jason. How would you go about repairing one of these if you took the corner out? Yeah, easy. It's, it's all one piece, it? so it's five glass. So it's really glass fit. There you go. That's put you in your place, hasn't it? Quite interesting, that is, the Wingums. I mm, don't believe so, no. no. I think they're easier than the plastic ones. 
Oh, I'd love to see the price of an A-class <laughs> monocot. <laughs> right, so let's move on to hall two now, eh? Right, let's just go and have a look at these here. So we've got here Platinum Wave campers. Right. Who are trying to take, or not trying to take over the world, they're, they're doing a very good job in doing so. They're, they're in quite a few different dealerships now. And they do some very nice That's a nice, things. that's nice. Somebody who's very good at social media, Danny. Yep. Doing a very good job. Just trying to do it bigger and better than everybody. But I mean, just straight away, just looking in there, you've got, you know, that things like a microwave like yeah. set in. The microwave's not going to work off here, does it? How many, how many people go off grid? How many people go off grid? You've got a point, really. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, shall we move on to the next one? Everybody says they're going to go off grid until they go off grid. And then realise they can't wash their hair. Yeah. So, all one's pretty much made up of Cathargo, Rapido, and some dealers. Yes. Shall we move over to the next one? Yes. Okay. Hall two. two. We're just warming up now, aren't we? I am getting warm. Just now. warming up. Um, let's go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we watch your channel. We watch Shane as well. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> See, Kev can sit at the yeah. front. Yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good day. Oh, it's warm. We're on all two, aren't we? All two. Camping cinnamon. Camping cinnamon. Not like a TV. Right. Um, this is a deal stand, is it? Uh, no, what have we got here? I'm thinking. Wonder Home. Wonder Home, yeah. They've got florets over there. Florets? More like a flower. It's a very rare A class. Oh, Kepler. So we've got West Look Farley. at this. Look at that. Look at that. Spring. Spring you can have it in spring. I know. So Westphalia, one of the original camp converters Germany, they make the Mercedes Marco Polos. They so just have a quick look through. I think they... Yeah. I must admit, we're getting a massive, massive influx of camper vans this year. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, these are probably the most original. Looks like a beluga whale, doesn't it? Looks like a beluga whale. Look. <laughs> Florium. Sorry, Florium, not... Oh no, Florette. Florian by Florette, there we go. Another A class. The Who's made these? Florette. Is that That's a what company? I said a few ago, oh, yeah. You just thought I was talking about flowers, didn't you? Well, I did think you were. <laughs> oh, Giotti van. I never realised still. I'm getting lost here. I never realised Easter. You, you missed this one here, the Giotti van. Yes, something you would quote on, yes. Let me so just going back, so Giotti lines, they yeah. were an old um, Italian make. Right. And they sort of disappeared a bit a long time ago. They were around when the old Malvavatas were around. Right. So, is that what it says? Yeah, okay. Well, they haven't particularly been in this country for a long time now. 52k seems reasonable for anything now. Nice looking van. Yeah, West Farley's doing a good job. I don't like, though, I don't like the, um, the seats. What, cloth? No, not the colour, I mean, because the... they, they're like a travelling seat, aren't they? Yeah. Not like a, a chill-out seat. Yes. Basically. Um, Which way do you want to go? Well, why don't we wiggle I mean, along this, here? Let's, let's, should we go straight through Coachman? Straight let's through go Coachman. through Coachman. So you've got the motor movies on the left. Yes. And when I say motor movies, I thought that's how you drive a caravan, isn't it? It's the future. <laughs> it's the future. See, I do watch future. your videos, look. <laughs> Just. What the f I don't what know. What's that? Coachman TM565. Coachman Motorhome? What is that? <laughs> Travel Master 565. On the Mercedes. This one's empty over here. Let's have a look at this one. Okay. How much is it? 107. And that's for the small one of the lot. Wow. How many do? I mean, I'd like. So this is 109. Come here. Ooh. 109. Look at that front lounge. That's great looking lovely. Car. Great looking car. Now, 
drop down bed up here. Look how integrated that is up there. Yeah. How good is that? And they're such a good company. Uh, Check out the repair. bedroom. Does that bed look big? Yeah, it does look big. It's a bit Air high, con. but it's big. A bit high for some. Does it lower down though? Does it drop down? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I don't think so, no, it looks pretty rigid. Nice fan. Shower and... Shower and... Yeah. Yep. And that closes, does it, that door as well. And then you've got the toilet there. I'm still... That Some is nice. Fridge. I love that drop-down bed up there. So, I'm going to say the surprise was the coachman. That is the surprise. That is the surprise. <laughs> uh, hold on, where are we going? We're going left, aren't we? Are we? I'm... No. I've gone dizzy. We're going to go to hall. We're in hall two. We're going to move over to hall one, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. They intercepted it when he got the camera. Leave it. Let's just have a look in the caravan. See how how far they've come along. So we're just having a look at the caravan now. This is a great looking caravan. I'll tell you what, you don't half forget when you go from a motor home to a caravan how wide they feel inside. Box. This is a crap but the the cupboards. Yeah. This is nice. This is This very is nice. very, very nice. This feels a lot more I don't know how you saying this, a lot more homely than I think a motorhome. There's just that little bit more width to it. This is nice. You gotta drag it behind your car, don't you? This is nice, this is dust. What how much it cost? Dead impressed with this. Oh there, this is a Luso. Okay. How yeah, much? so this is a Luso with just under 50 grand. So this is the top model. 50k? Yes. That's a lot of dough for caravan. This is the top range. It's luxury, isn't it? For them. It's nice. It ain't 50k, is it? <laughs> well, yes it is. But what I'm saying is it's a lot of money for a caravan, isn't it? A lot of money for a caravan. It's stunning. It really is stunning. I mean, but just behind Finn, it's a lovely sunroof and everything. Yeah. Even the sea, oh yeah, look, check this out. Yes, the, the lights. lighting is spot on. We had this on the show, I think, when we were discussing it. Did we? Yeah, I think we were oh. talking about this with Mark. Nice one. Very nice. So, we're 3A we're moving to now, aren't we? Hey. We're getting through this quick, aren't we? I know, we? we've got to start off, we've got the Aldi systems which is the Aldi heater, which you see in a few more of the premium models. Gas low over there as well. Yeah, gas low, and then we've got EMP and VP, air suspension and self-leveling. Very good systems. Adria. And actually, on the EMP, you get to see how they work as well. But yes, Adria. That's a nice-looking A-class, isn't it? Yeah, they look that nice. That is a nice-looking A-class. Nice colour. Really nice colour. It seems to be the new colour now, isn't it? This one and the one over there, the... Uh, what the grey, one? yeah. The greys look lovely. Yeah. They do look lovely. I'm glad we're going off the white now, because of that. all motorhome well, white I mean, I mean, all the time. You know, from a retail point of view, some of the, one, the older ones with colour into them, whether it's a bit of a silver side or something like that, they do just catch the eye a bit better, don't they? Definitely. The ones with the black with the black yeah, yeah. Yeah, some of the old Burstners and Adrys that had a bit of a colour in the cab. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Shut on. Flash. Oh. <laughs> right, let's just run on to this flash because we've got a nice new motor home on here. Oh, right, OK. So, shut on flash. No, no, flash is actually gone. It's now the first line. Right, OK. And we've got this here, which is the X. Have a quick look on the air, Finn. So, this is the new X. Go on. So this is the X. X. Look at the light. Oh, it's got a swirly roof and everything. Drop down bed. That's a nice looking thing, isn't it? Yeah, nice it's just, just yeah. have a look around the... Um... Yes. Oh, what, yeah, go on. Thank you very much. I mean, we like a lovely back end, but that looks That's smart, a sexy doesn't it? back end, <laughs> that is. That is a sexy back end. I am liking that, that's a great buck end. Really is. So yeah, so the, the, the flash is now gone, it's yeah. now the first line, and then you've still got the titaniums. Well, here you go, it's so, just so on what used to be a flash 514, it's now a first line C514. What a nice looking, it's a, sorry, it's a nice looking compact. Yeah. 
Look at that. I don't think these, these used to be over cab either, but they are now. Yeah. These, yeah. Is the Uber cab coming back in? I think it is, because there's a few more of them doing that. So the Uber cab is now the new cab? Yes. Okay. But you look at Horse Trail, which we'll get onto a bit, they've got a new range. Oh, right. here's Horse Trail now. Couldn't have timed that any better, could you? <laughs> I know. New range with the Uber cabs. And you've got Swift Edge. It's to compete, with, compete with the Swift Edge. Expeditions, I think they are, but we'll check. So we've got so the new different colours of the cabs. We've got the trackers the here, haven't we? The V-Line. Yeah. V-Line seems to have been out for ages, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, are we? Grand Frontier. Right, let's have a look at this. So this is Auto Trails A-Class. This is the mini one. The, oh, sorry, the, I think this is the, the middle one, the 70. So the Grand Frontier used to be around a long time ago, around 2007, take a, give or take a year. Let's have a quick look inside. That's right. And the thing with the Fiat chassis as well is they are a new chassis. This is a nice one. So if you have a look at the cab on this, look, you've got the new steering wheel, exempt unit. You've also got a bit more of a digital dash. Look yeah, at those seats. Those seats look nice, don't they? Cooker, grill, three beer and a hob, and also hot plate as well. This leather's real rear, nice. Rear washer room as well. It's like a faded black, isn't it? Charcoal. That's it. <laughs> I mean, I might have just made a colour up there, but... Graphite. Graphite, charcoal, graphite. No, I wouldn't say... Well, could be you, could be right, Kev. So there's the A-class. Do an 88, I'm going to do a 66 as well. OK. I think they start from in the 80s. 80,000. Yeah, 88,000, this one is. Quick look around. Auto uh, Trail got quite a big stand, though, haven't they? Eh? Auto Trail got quite a yes. big stand. So you've got some more of the camper vans. Yeah, we've got the F-lines to the left, which are a really nice spec van. F-68. Here's the expeditions here, look. OK, so we've got one here. Let's go for this C-73. Right, OK. And then we'll get on to that after. So, C-73, new range to compete with the Swift Edge, I guess, is the best way to put it. I mean, these are in the mid-50s, and this looks like a big six berth with a garage. Yeah, you can see model. it's... Um... Yeah, I mean, we said that a bit with the edges, didn't we? Yeah. Where they're just yeah. not quite the quality there, but they're 15 grand less than anything else. I'll probably say on a quick look, this is a bit better than an edge. Not a bad price, Shane. Not no. a bad price. I mean, bearing in mind, 55 is the new... 56. Uh... Sorry, 56 is yeah. what the old 40, 45 was. Oh, look at that. You even get a free bag of box of... bubble crisps. I don't like the look of them. Yeah. Just want to point out here, great garage. Good sized garage. And then... Well, yes, yeah, no, sorry, the same one. So this is the Adventure 65. They do two, I think they do a 65 and a 55. I mean, this is nearly 70 grand, but it's got the pop top and on the Fiat. Do you know what? I didn't notice the pop top till you said. No. They do the Expedition range, which is the same as the one that we went in just, but this is the level up. And obviously, you've got the V Line S, the V Line SE. Oh, well, I didn't need a pop top. <laughs> <laughs> it's an overgrown VW, isn't it? Yes, very much so. OK, move on. Yeah, what we got next? What we got next? So, right, we're either going, shall we move this way round and work away back, Shane? Yes, let's go that way. Let's go Bailey next. And then we can work away round, because really it's 3A and 3. So it's I mean, this is something we Bailey. never saw last time. We saw the autographs. Bearing in mind last time on we, the were Ford? Here, we was here was pre-COVID. Yeah. On the four. They did? Yeah, yeah. Made? Made? Yeah. Bristol. Bristol. Oh. Bailey's of Bristol. Oh, Bailey. Yes. Big so sign up there, Kev. See, Bailey. See, it's <laughs> huge, way, huge see sign it's there. Yeah, but it's, it's high up now, below down. So, as you can see, these are about 70 grand now. Do you know what I've got feeling here? Come inside. I've got a static home feeling here. Look at all the wood. Is that because the engine's not running? No, seriously. <laughs> we've got the drop down bed as well. That's yeah. Just behind, we've got another drop down bed. So, this is the range that Bailey used just to get a little bit more continental to. 
active in the garage. This has got really. a really homely feel, hasn't it, with this? Yeah, and the other thing you've got to remember with Bailey is they've always built on the Peugeot, and which is non-auto option, whereas the Ford, auto. Right, and just check that out as well. Something nice and simple. Yeah, I wonder if that'll stop the rattling. And that's not a dig at uh, uh, Bailey, that's just them generally. This is this is my favourite van so far. This is a really nice van. And also, what I do like, slimline fridge. Yes. As well. Just opens one way, yeah? Yeah. It's not a swinger. Double swinger. Oh, well, yes, I mean, it, it, nice to see the double double drop downs. That rear lounge, that is the new. I, I really like that lounge. Rear lounge is the I way really, forward, really I think, do. for most now. It's no, it's getting very popular. At the back as well. Yeah, a lot of them are starting to do this, which I think is a good idea. It is. Because you don't miss it inside, do you? You get a bike in there. Yeah. You do. Um, yeah, and then we've got the autographs, which we already know about, and that's that's one of the autographs there, which we saw in, introduced in 2019 with the silver sides and the black cab. And then we've got the caravans, which is the way along through the, the caravans. Other half. So we've got the caravans. Yes. We'll move on to them in a bit. Well, we've got the likes of the unicorns that have been around for years. And the Canto Grand, a bit wider. These are almost a semi, a semi static. So now we're moving on to the Aldis. So we've got the Aldis cab. Let's just move here to where the motor rooms are here, Shane. I think I've touched on this one before, Jason. Where did the name Aldis come from? Settle backwards. Yes. Aldis Encore 205. Right, let's have a look at this, because this is one we haven't seen. We have got the... the um, so the Eldis and the Compass are the same thing, basically just different colours. The, the Eldis is red trim, Compass is blue trim, right? We saw them last time, but we never saw the pop-top, the CV80. So these are having to go at pop-top as well? Everybody's having to go at pop-top. They are, aren't they? That's an Old Squest van conversion. Yes. Old Squest were always coach built. Correct, yeah. 58k, 59k. Yeah, in the 50s. 2023 price, 56 grand. Uh, yeah, I, th I like Elders. I think they're a very good value for money there. So we've got the, how long's the AutoQuest been going for? How long's the AutoQuest been going for? The Ooh. Aldis AutoQuest. Oh. I'm, I'm, just trying, donkeys, I'm, I'm just trying to think if it was before the 90s. It did have been a Talbot. It was definitely so in the early 80s. Yeah, that's what my thoughts are. Compass. Are they part of the same group, Aldis Compass? Like, yeah, like I just said, they're all exactly the same. It's just the Eldis has got the red trim, the Compass has got the blue trim. And even Compass are having a go at it they're as well. The group, yeah. At the pop top. Yeah, same model, just in under a Compass name. Yeah, so there we go. I mean, previously, you used to have, like, blue stitching inside the uh, upholstery. It's just on the outside now. And then we've got the Avant-Garde. Is that a new one, the Concerto? That's a, that'll be a dealer's special. Right. Oh, no, no, sorry, no, no, that's the equivalent to the Encore. Right. So it's the slightly higher spec. It's got the Aldi heating instead of the whale heating. And Kev! A little bit more. Here's the bed for you. Come and look at this. Look at that. Oh, there you go, look. That looks nice, Kev. Kev's bed. <laughs> it's like them that they have in... Uh... Now, here you go, you've got your two way. You oh, it's got a latch on top. One there, year. and then you've got a little. They never had the latch last oh, time, did they? I broke it. Shh, let's go. <laughs> this is a nice looking van. First person in the van, you broke it. Yeah. How many more? This is a nice looking van, isn't it? Yeah. Really nice. I mean, these are. Again, space. Yeah. Space. And they do these with an option. Sorry, these are on the Fiat now. They used to be on the Peugeots, but they're now on the Fiat, so you have got the option of a. Nine-speed gearbox. Oh. The new nine-speed. Yes. True automatic. Oh, okay. Um, so this is the top range for Elvis. So we're going to move over to here and work our way back down again. Yeah. So we've got the Prestige. Yeah, which is vehicles for leisure special. Oh, Finn, you made me jump then. <laughs> And then we're moving on to the um, the Buccaneer. I know. They make, they're a nice van, aren't they? Good they're solid a lovely, van. lovely, very well-made van. Very heavy, so you've got to have a 4x4, four four, but now you don't have to have that licence, do you? Anybody no. can pull them along. 
Since now we're moving over to the room at Loudham Stand, aren't we? Yeah, so, so these are all the swifts. Yeah. Look, Swift, I've turned up. Yeah, on the stands. So you've got the freestyle, the high style, sorry. Yeah. It's a Loudham special. Not the freestyle anymore. We've got brown hills. What have we got here then? Rebellion 2. That is a big old bus. I bet that's expensive. Rebellion 2. What? Do you know anything about the shoe? That's a beast. That is on the sprinter, isn't it? They are beasts, aren't they? Yeah. Is that the company Rebellion? Or is it all? It might just be RP, I'm not sure. RP. RP, right. We've got the auto trail. We've right, got Swift. Uh, okay, let's go on Swift Alps. because this is the only chance at Swift, really. Right, so this is the new cab for the Escape. Right. And the new model. Nice colour. So they've all gone up about 10 grand ish, but they're a higher spec. Obviously, they all come with the, the, the nice alloys and the graphics on the side. You know, six grand. It's a dinky little thing, isn't it? Yes. And we're also the Evolution. Yeah, which is the Brown Hill Special, which are sold out for 2022. Can you just get up there? Can you see, can you see the, the pot top? Can you see the skylight in the pot yeah. top? See, the one that's uh, just going back here, Jason. This is the new tag axle, Swift Contiki. Right. That's a different system under there. That looks like it's on a bit of an Aldi, isn't it? I'm just wondering what the... Uh... Oh, the heater, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's with, with the straps in. Does that mean oh, it goes yeah. up and down? It does, but we won't, yeah, it's, it's on a bit of a ratchet system. So it's in the garage. So this is the 894. New, completely new models, starting from £100,000. That's a beast, isn't it? Yeah. The more low line this year, they were a bit more of a liner last year. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So again, we've got more Swifts. Well, the Contiki Sports are now gone and it's just Contiki. Pilotti. And the Voyager. Bollinger's. That's a big bus, isn't it? That is a big it bus. It is a big bus. I do like the Voyager's because, I mean, that's got the dune woodwork in there as well. And it looks beautiful. Just pan through the window there and just have a look at that. Single that. beds. Good of Yeah, I love that woodwork. I think it looks lovely. It's been very popular since we released it in about 2019. Yeah, it's beautiful. Right, which way are we going next? So we're working on. We're on to the Frank here. Yeah, we've got all the Frankies here now. <laughs> yeah, Frankies. <laughs> right, this is what we wanted. Look, Marbletta. Marbletta. We've also got Benny Margs. This is the part mark we stand, which is. Oh, all... so you're just going to ignore the Frankies? They're lovely. Just going to walk by them. Platin. I mean, let's have a look at these. So the platins, you know, these are in the late hundreds. Yes. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. On the Mercedes? Yeah. They are very nice. And then? Do, a, do two or three layouts. That's the twin beds. They also do a year, rear U-shaped lounge, which I know there's one it's on It's only 2,700 quid. Yeah. There you go, 192 grand. You can get these in full silver as well, just like this one next door, which look... Oh. And then you've got the platine. <laughs> I did, right. Right. So then you've got the plat. You right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the plat in there. Ooh, sorry. Ooh. Shall we have a look inside? See, and you missed this stand, didn't you? You missed <laughs> I it. I never. Now, do you remember when you went in the Cathargo and you fell in love with it? Come and fall in love with this one. Wow. Exactly. That's, this is the one. There's, like I said, there's one of these online at the moment, just over 200, about 202 grand. What a great van. I love this van. rear lounge. What a uh, great yeah. van. We were in a Cathago last time. Correct, yeah, lounge. liner for two, and it's also got the drop-down yeah. bed at the front. And the TV. It was a drop-down TV in the Cathago, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Great van. Come on, let's move on. We've got a lot to cover. Yeah. Very nice. That's a favourite so far. I don't 
Frankie about that vehicle. You know when you had a live chat one evening? Right. You know, it was me that somebody just popped the Frankie a word in and you were speaking about okay, it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you were talking about the car Fago. Yes. I mentioned it to you. Yeah, with the end lounge. That's oh, a yeah. nice fan. That's a really nice oh, fan. Really? It's beating the Bailey easily. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like a Bailey. Speak to a bit. Cheers, Shane. Thank you. Right, so we're moving on now. <clears throat> right, yeah, okay. So let's go on to... Morbletta and your Benamar, isn't it, now you want it? We've also got all sleepers on here. So let's go right. You want to go right? So we That's spoke... a good-looking back end. Thank you. Not you, you <laughs> So we spoke on the way here, so Mobile Vetter have completely redesigned everything they've got, and let's go into this 80. So, 97 and a half grand, which I think has gone up about 15, 20 grand for the model year, so it's a big change. But if you have a look around, and it's the first time I've seen one as well, the upholstery and everything's a lot better. It was almost a bit of a plastic upholstery before, which didn't look the best. Lighting above the, ca above the cab on the drop-down bed, that's just a different level. I'm glad they have sort of justified the price increase on this. Comes with his reputation as well. Yes. Yeah. Which gives you that end lounge. Which it gives you the end lounge in the space. Like no, because if there's four people, that's a tight This lounge. is more coming in now, isn't it? Drop down bed at yeah. the back. Yeah. Dinky A class. Right, okay, so here's one. So if you have a look at this, yeah. and the Roller Team Bagasso 590, exactly the same shell, just different finishes. Right, like they difference look, in price? This is a higher... About 15 grand, I think. Okay. The is more of an entry. Yes, yeah. It's Roller Team's flagship, which we'll go on to next, but... What are you going to do, Benamar? Can do. Which one do you want? I'm going to pick this one. Any one you want. So, Benamar's again. To sort of 482. And I feel like we're just picking the same layout every single time. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, ooh, that's different. Thin. Come on, sir. <laughs> so again, these have gone up a few grand. I feel gone closed up a few in. Grand. I feel closed in. Yeah, I think it's because the roof. The yeah. The low ceiling. It's dark. Yeah. Needs a bit of light there. You need, you need to turn that one above your head, Finn. There's one above your head. Touch. Uh, there we go. Oh. Does help, yeah. Another quilt in there. Oh, that's a nice bath. It is a nice washroom, mate. You're right there. There's a lot of choice now, isn't there? Yes. I mean, these were, Benamar were quite, um, they got, quite early with them. They've the, got a good advert with the uh, celebrity doctor. Yes. But yeah, the 282, I think, has been out since about 2016. Yeah. Just have a look at that front end on that model oh. better. They've completely redone it. Now, is it me, or are we getting a lot more Ford chassis? Yes. We are, aren't we? I think it's because they're a bit cheaper. They're a bit cheap. Oh, right, okay. Or sleeper air, which I didn't, or didn't air. wasn't a fan of because of the upholstery. So it'd be interesting to see what it looks like in real life. No. No. Ah. So that's a new camper van. Again, again with camper van here, you've got so much choice. Yeah, sixty-nine grand. And we've just had a look at some. Bands. We've just seen some bands at what 60, 60 grand anyway, haven't we? You don't tell it, no shower. Yeah, porta potty. We've got the Broadway, <laughs> the Burton. Come with the brush. Uh, the bush. The Burford. Spade. 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 The Warwick. Yeah, they were on the uh, on the old sleepers. Is there anything new on here? Not really, no. No. Okay. Not really. Okay. The, only di the only difference is the, the the Fiat's a little bit more readily available instead of the Peugeot to give you the auto box, but that's about it. Right. Move on. Yes. Roller team. Hang on. What? Roller team. Oh. <laughs> T-Line. Um. Yeah, so the T-Line is a top of range, uh, low profile. Drop down beds mainly at the front. You've got the 590 all the way up to the Again, 700. we're getting the same again, aren't we? You slip, ooh. Now right, this is nice. Better. Nice lockers. Yeah. And if you just spin around then we've got the drop down bed as well. 60, 65 this. 65,000? Yeah. Now would you have this one or what was the little camper van you just looked at? Oh, the old sleeper air. And how much was that? 69. No brainer, isn't it? No brainer. Absolute no brainer. Price displayed, that's 65 grand with automatic gearbox as well. With auto. 
just a no-brainer, is it really? Yeah. Then we've got the A-Class Pegaso on the right. So you've got their range. Then we've got the Severos, which are all on the Ford. Yeah. It's a Flora. <laughs> it's a Flora. You can't say Severo. <laughs> and then... Look at the size of that cabbage. Look at the size of that. Yeah, them. we've got the auto rollers. I'm just trying to think what that, what that one is. That is not. Just have a look inside, Finn. Is this the sport? Just have a look inside yeah. in relation to the garage to it. Yes. We had someone specifically asking for one of these. You know what, I don't think we've even come across them. Look at the size and of the again, bed. Behind you, over cab. That's ridiculous. The bed lowers down, doesn't it? The rear bed. Say again. The rear bed lowers down. Yes. Move on to Remo. Yes. Or Rimmer, as our John calls it. Just thinks a different thing altogether. Where's he gone now? Looking at the garage. Can't take him anywhere, can we? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Roll Team's probably one that hasn't changed a lot. No, prices are good though. Prices are prices very good. Are good. Great value for money. So we're on to Remo now, aren't we? Yes. You all right? I did. You? you good? Yeah. Seen you in the flesh, yeah? <laughs> I know. Yeah. How are you? All right, how are you? Good. Yeah, good. So what have we got here then, Shane? We have got the Evos. The what? Evo. Oh, yeah. Sound. The seals. Again, similar sort of price range to the roller teams, really. Yeah. They're getting but better, aren't they, recently? They are. I like them because they tend to come with a big garage in the one. Yeah. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying this, but they tend to be one that has the overcab bed, the Luton. Yep. Yeah, if you want to have a look at one, let's yeah. take the Evo 77. Yeah. And motocross on that. That's right. And I believe it's only MNC. Everything's going that U-shaped way. The back end is. I can't believe yeah, we... With the bed. I mean, I just, just want... to respect for you as well. If you didn't want uh, a fixed rear bed, you should have a drop down. You know, yeah. a little raise to make your garage bigger. Yeah. Can I have a look at the alterations? I will just make it very clear as well. There is more lounges than sorry. There is more layouts than just the end lounge at the show. <laughs> well, have we just got unlucky? <laughs> I think we just we just fell into about six in a row. Yeah. Right, where are we doing next? Right, next door. Let's go. Now look at that there. Look at the galley there with the scooter. Yeah, that's the Horus. So you got there. You go. Look, so that's a great graph there. I mean, look at the amount of seals we got. Yeah. It's like being at Donnanook. And then we've got Horus Seal Evo Super Brig, which is the top of the range. And it will alter the spec inside them for you as well. Yeah. Funny name Seal, though, isn't it? Hor, hor, hor. It's not exactly speaks out class motor owners, does it really, to they're be honest? Good, they're a good thing. Hole four. What have we got here, Jason? I don't know, let's have a look. So, statics. So, this section is all the different parks that you can go to and visit and maybe even buy plots there. We've got a few stands such as Love Cornwall, Protect the, Antar Protect the Antarctic, that's quite important. Gulliver's Kingdom. Devon's Top Attractions. So we've got small little independents here, haven't Post we? Seasons. Uh, I don't know, some of these are big. Yeah. We've got WWF for wrestling. And then I think <laughs> make a way because that's going into <laughs> Hall. Five, that one is there, isn't it? That's going into all five to the camper vans, yeah. Yeah, which we'll do in a second. Right, let's see what fancy statics we get. Are we going left? Let's go that way. You want to go this way? Next to the cherry blossom. Statics, haven't they come on? <laughs> they have a bit. Park homes. Is that the posh word for it, Kevin? <laughs> Park homes. Park homes. Just look at that. Look, you've got you've got a pebble dash static there. See it? It's Is like the old Artex ceilings, isn't it? <laughs> That's a bit of grandeur for you, isn't it? Yeah, that is nice. Look that at just, that. What a nice piece Look of kit that. that is, eh? Ah. And then you've got the nice woody effect here. They double now, aren't they? If you notice. It's like a double static. Yes. Wonder if it's double the price. Wonder if you get a discount. <laughs> well you tend to get you tend to pay more for the or as much for the plot as you do the static. Right. Static is a bit of an afterthought. You pick your plot. So, Kevin, one day you might get one of these statics, but for the time being, I'm going to give you your own static over there. 
<laughs> you can have one of the canvas ones. Van Gogh. So and you can go on that ones. later, Kevin. Okay, Finn will take you on it later. The Beatles sing that, didn't they? The what? Elter Skelter. Don't know, before my time, Shane. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> We've got the sandcastles here as well. This is the beach area, isn't it? Do, do you think? Well, it's a smally beachy type of area, isn't it? And then, um, yeah, welcome to the pier. Look, a little pier there. With There's the water and the crabs. That's Vince Crabs. And then more <laughs> static. So hall four, basically, Shane, is static. It's basically static, isn't it? And then we've got the beach yeah. area. No, Park Homes. And the pier. Park, Listen to park it. Homes. Listen to Kev. Park Homes. So there you go. There's all four. And let's move on to the next hall. So we're in all five. Is that how you started? What do you mean? We're not starting, we're finishing, are we? No, just, this is the last hall. Just say we're doing five, four, three, two, one. Well, that's awkward, isn't it? We might as well start one, two, three, four, five. Look at this, kayaking. Bit of kayaking there. <laughs> so with the book, we've got kayaking, Fiamme store. Yes. Fiamme store, and then working our way down. And he's off, he's off, he's off. I'm off, Devon. Crespo comfy. They do look comfy, actually, don't they? They do. So I'll try one out. Oh, they are. Come try that, Kev. Try that. I was waiting for that yeah, to slide out of the way, then. You try that. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Kev. So, yes, on, uh, behind Finn, we've got uh, Devon, who do the Aztecs and the fly flies, mostly on the Ford. We've got a little bit of uh, boating going on over there. A bit of kayaking. God, this is the camper van hall, isn't it? It is a camper van hall. What a great colour. Yeah. What a really nice colour out in that. It's called the Nardo Grey. The Nardo. Oh, yeah, it's a lo lovely colour. Nardo Grey. Yeah. Um, who's this? Bowdens. Bowdens. They've been around for a long time. Granthams. That's not one I've heard of before. I tell you what, there's some camper vans here. There's some choice here, isn't there? You know, what, I actually. Yeah. They seem to look a lot better, actually. It is like the old. Yeah, it's the old school, isn't it? That's nice, that is. Yeah. Some nice that looking camper nice. vans, aren't there? There is some nice looking camper vans. Really nice. That's one. a nice colour as well. Yeah. You've got Bilbo's over here. <laughs> you like Bilbo's, don't you, Kev? Yeah. Bilbo Baggins? Yeah. And then here we go now, my favourite camper van conversioner. Is that how you say it? Conversioner. Conversion Wild Axe. Now that's. Do you like a wild axe? I love a wild axe. Great build. Really good camper vans. These are wild axe. Really good vans. Sorry, you missed outside leisure, Shane. You did, yes. And, and then we're, we're into the tent section now, aren't we? God, these tents everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, it's very intense, isn't it? And then we've got all the tent <laughs> section over here as well, haven't we? So basically, whole five made up of camper vans and then also tent reel, isn't it? Yes. So there you have it. There's all the holes that we've got from one straight through to five. Yep. Sorry,